Russell, on behalf of the KC Processing and Launch Team, I wish you good luck, Godspeed, and we'll see you back here just after Thanksgiving. Well, a launch here is very, very special. Um, I haven't seen one from outside for over 10 years. I'm, I'm always in the control room. But uh, thousands and thousands of people come to Titusville and Cocoa Beach and Cape Canaveral to see a launch. You watch the tourists, you know, come here special. You know, the kids, with their, just in awe when, when the orbiter lifts off. It's a tremendous feeling, of, uh, again, of accomplishment. And to think that we're doing it on behalf of, of the country and, and, and now with the International Space Station on behalf of all the international partners, it, it's a tremendous feeling. Only I should ever get in Florida. Uh, show much is quite a is uh, quite an experience. You, know, you're, you're, uh, you need to wake up, put on your fancy clothes. You know, you have a breakfast together before you put the fancy clothes on because you don't want to get them dirty. So you have your, you have your breakfast and you put your clothes, you know, fancy clothes on and everything. Put on your spacesuit and you walk out into the Astro van. They drive you out there and you get in the launch pad. up to the launch it's it's a lot of training and it's something you've been preparing for really kind of all of your life if you think about it because uh, you know this whole aspiration of being able to go into space is something that starts pretty early on for most people even though you you're exhaustively trained for it nothing really prepares you for what you're actually going to feel because there's no way to really simulate that so it really is you know on-the-job training, as the, <laughs> as the saying goes. Uh, the launch is a pretty incredible experience, and I've heard a lot of people attempt to describe what it feels like. I've heard people say, oh, it's like getting hit in the back of your chair with the baseball bat. It's nothing like that. It's, it's very hard to describe, in fact, because you're going from not moving at all to 26 times the speed of sound in, in only eight minutes, and so the tremendous sense of acceleration is, is not one that you can really prepare for it unless you've done it before. And then at, you know, at six seconds, the main engines uh, light, and you, and you feel that, and the shuttle pitches, and then kind of comes back upright at zero in the countdown. And then the solids light. And then you, 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 there's no doubt you're moving. And I remember looking over and seeing on the display, yep, all those main engines are 100%. And then it was like, boom! kicked off the pad. Within a couple of seconds, the thought went through our mind was, man, we're really, we're, we're like far away from home. <laughs> Already, you knew you were going someplace far away. And as we go, then we separate from the, uh, from the solid rocket booster and then the ride becomes very smooth. Um, there's no shaking much anymore, but we are outside the atmosphere of the Earth and we can accelerate real fast now. We have to reach 25 times the speed of sound. So as we accelerate, we start feeling the G acceleration and being pushed back on our seats. And the next five minutes, we're under three G, which means three times our weight. And that seemed a little bit more than three Gs I've pulled in other situations. And I think, again, it's just because of the excitement of this being a real flight. And uh, I felt like I was fighting much harder to get breath and it's over about a minute, minute and a half time frame, and then all of a sudden it's off of you. 
and you're like, wow, things are floating up and and we're really here, you know? This is really where we wanted to be. Dottie, how do you like space? I love space. It's I still better feel like I'm, and better and better. I feel yeah. like I'm hanging upside better. down, but I guess I'm not. There was this quarter of a second transition into real, real heavy to, whoops, floating. And that's when you have to adapt to weightlessness. It's a great ride. It's a great ride.